teachers were like, you need to focus better because of my hyperactivity. I didn't understand. Why doesn't this picture become clear to me? Is she not trying hard enough? Is she not applying herself? Imagine somebody sitting on the keys of the computer. That's ADHD. As a parent, the thing that bothers me the most no! are the friend issues. I was just a squirky, out of control kid with very few friends. The Disruptors features Paris Hilton, Will I Am, Terry Bradshaw, along with the world's leading experts on ADHD, and follows five American families living with ADHD in efforts to shed light on the condition and dispel the many myths about it. And joining us now with more is Emmy Award winning producer Nancy Armstrong. And Nancy, tell us a little. Obviously, you wanted to dispel some myths, but also to show a different side of people with ADHD, I imagine, in making this film. Yes, well, I raised three children with ADHD, and there was no film, so I wanted to make a film that really looked at both sides of ADHD. We've really sort of myopically focused, focused on the challenges, mm -hmm. which are real and have to be managed, but there's a whole other side to ADHD, which are the strengths that we haven't really focused on, and if you can activate those strengths in your life, it can be a real asset. Well, it's fascinating because you look at someone like Will I Am, this, this unbelievable artist. Did he just tap into the positives of ADHD to really propel his career and his lifestyle? Yes, well, Will had uh, some very significant things in his life. First, he had a mother who fought for him tooth and nail. He also had some great teachers in his life that encouraged him and said, you know, embrace your creativity, embrace your energy. And then he had musical genius. Yeah. But if he didn't have that whole package of things, that's really what we need to get children to adulthood intact. They end up taking so much negative feedback going through the K through 12 system that by the time they get to adulthood, they feel terrible about themselves mm -hmm. and they don't know what they're good at because mm -hmm. they've only ever heard about what they're terrible at. So how, what is, are some of the myths of people who have ADHD? Well, the myth is one that it doesn't exist. You know, the thing that's tricky about ADHD is the, the superficial manifestation of it is behavioral, mm -hmm. right? So it tends to look intentional. Mm -hmm. um, and so that that's a myth that it doesn't exist. And, and the other myth that's really harmful is that it is something that is about bad parenting mm -hmm. and bad children, you know, and that's really harmful because it is neurological. We know it's neurogenetic, highly heritable and neurological, and we shouldn't be, uh, you can't take a neurological trait and blame it on uh, willfulness or lack of effort. Trust me, these kids would love to go to school every day and blend in and fit in, but the core triad of symptoms, distractibility, impulsivity, and hyperactivity are anathema to a K-12 environment. Well, and this is what Terry Bradshaw, Bradshaw say, it's like sitting on the keys of a keyboard. Like it's a, that's a really good description of how, what goes on in, in kids' brains. Because you know, I, I mentioned to you, I was worried about my son for a while, super mm -hmm. hyper, and it's like, what's the difference between being hyper and just a boy versus having an actual issue? Well, it's the degree to which it causes impairment in mm -hmm. your life. So yes, boys are more active, boys are, 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 are you know, rowdy, but it's the degree to which they can't not do that mm -hmm. at the moment where they're supposed to be doing something else. You know, an ADHD brain has all the skills has all the intelligence and all the capability. It's just that they can't use it at the moment when everyone else is using it. And so yeah. that's where they run into trouble. Okay, so you raised three children with ADHD, but you followed five other families. Did you learn something that you didn't know or thought you knew um, through this journey? Yeah, it was very emotional uh, following those five families because everyone's experience is yeah. basically universal. You know, that's the thing that's really interesting. And you could draw a line between the families in the film and the, you know, small army of public personalities that we had talking to camera for the first time about their ADHD. They all struggle mightily during their childhood. But with parental support, with great teachers, they make it to adulthood and they can learn to leverage the strength of their ADHD brain and become incredibly successful. I think what I just watching the trailer, what I, I took away from that as being really so sad and misunderstood is the connection with friends. That is really hard for these kids to have connections. Right, it, it is hard for them because they miss social cues. So they, they don't really know what the group is doing. They, they just miss it and they're very hypersensitive. So they're very reactive and kids don't like that. That yeah. can really push away a group of friends. So they really struggle in that regard, but they can learn better skills to, to make that part of their lives easier. What's one piece of advice you could share with parents out there who are struggling with uh, children who have ADHD um, or want to know Oh, if their child has ADHD. Well, if you have any, if you suspect that your child is struggling and, and might need to be evaluated, that's the first thing you want to do. Diagnosis and treatment is so important. You know, it, it, some people want to say, oh, I know, you know, the child has ADHD, but I don't, I don't want to get them diagnosed. Well, the, 
the alternative is that that child thinks they're not capable and not smart. Mm -hmm. It's better for them to know they're dealing with something learn to manage the challenges and figure out what they're really good at and leverage those strengths because that can make all the difference in the world. Yeah, I feel like the longer you wait, the more struggles they go through, it's just harder their lives are in general. And the worse they feel about themselves. Yeah. And we were pretty open with our children when they, you know, that they had ADHD, but we also put role models in front of them and said, this is who you are. And they were super successful people in our lives that all had ADHD. And so, you know, they were able to look to those role models and say, oh, they're just like me, I can be that too. And that's what we try to democratize that information and those role models in the film. That's yeah, fantastic. more harm than yeah. Yeah, good if you just let, let it go, go away. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ignore it. Well, uh, you can see a screening of the Disruptors uh, Thursday, October 27th, this Thursday at 6 p.m. That's at the Chicago Cultural Center. Uh, and check out the film, disruptorsfilm.com. It's also streaming on Prime Video, Apple, Apple. iTunes, uh, Vudu, Google Play, and uh, YouTube. Fantastic. fantastic. Nancy. Thank, Nancy, you. thank you. Thank you so much for having me.